You are watching SGTV, socially good television. This episode of SGTV is sponsored by The Cooley Group, Incorporated, branding education. Visit CooleyBrand.com for your printed products and promotional items. And what they're doing is they're getting opportunity to really investigate a living laboratory um, and conduct investigations with, with hands-on um, examples. They're getting to actually apply what they're learning in the classroom about water contamination, about how water moves through an ecosystem, and they're actually getting some real hard data on it by coming out. They're doing things like water testing, um, hearing about some oral history of the area, some archaeology. They're actually looking at samples under microscopes. Um, they're getting to hear sounds of the wetland and actually determine how how you could see if an ecosystem is healthy just based on what you hear. Um, we're incorporating some mapping elements, so it's really an, an interdisciplinary, authentic experience for them where they get to apply what they learn in the classroom to a very hands-on setting. In your journals, you will write down at least five sounds that you hear. <laughs> The area here was, a rid, uh, thousands of years ago, was a, a swamp and a, 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 a wetland, and it was later on farmed, and the Panzer's uh, grandparents started a farm here where they drained the wetland and they uh, made it so that they could uh, do farming here, it w so it wasn't uh, flooded all the time, and it made great vegetables. Uh, but as time went on, uh, they discovered that what they wanted to really do was to return it to the way it was originally. So they restored the farm to a wetland. And the consequence of that is that there's less flooding in the area, the water is cleaned up better, there's wildlife, and you can have people come out and learn about this amazing uh, property here and it's what they really wanted was to see kids come out here and learn about nature. They think that that's really really important and uh, the university is all about helping them do that. Thank you for bringing us out here so we can learn more stuff about the water cycle and like water land and stuff. And just learning like in class just pretty much like the same things. We got to go out here to see how it was a wetland then a farm and then a wetland again. We saw how they started selling it. They fixed it up by themselves and then just make money and appreciate the water and stuff. Wait, can you take a picture of it? Oh, I'm taking a video of it. Still take a picture though. Are you taking a video of it? Because I was videotaping out doing this. Education was our biggest push. We wanted to make it so um, people would come here and learn about wetlands so that preserving wetlands would be easier. And especially education is the strongest point in doing those things. So that's one of the reasons we pushed so hard. That's one of the reasons we wanted to, to go to Akron University when we were finished with it. You know, we're hoping students come out and they just, they have a fun time, you know. We want them to, to see that, that science is, it's hot, it's exciting, it's, you know, it's different than what you think it's going to be in the classroom. Um, you know, a lot of our students don't have experience trekking through the mud and looking at bugs and listening for nature sounds. So we're hoping um, that they just get a new opportunity, you know, because if you really want students to learn something, they have to have that experience. Thank you Thank very you. much for bringing us out here because we got to do hands-on things and I appreciate being out here. Thank you for watching SGTV, socially good television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.